What do what do white people who run the world need to be saved from? They live in the best neighborhoods. They go on the best vacations and all that. They they got the least labor on their jobs with the highest pay. What do they need to be saved from? Give me a uh, go ahead. Ethan. Matthew chapter 15 verse 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. See, right there, God, Jesus the Christ in red letters is telling us he was only sent for the house of Israel, the blacks, Hispanics, right. and Native Americans. Right. Those are the only people who need to be saved from the conditions that we're in. Right. Native Americans, explain that to me. The Native Americans, go back to Deuteronomy 28. See, what you got, the Native Americans, they were here right before everybody got here. But... What you gotta realize, we, if you follow the bloodline back, we all come from the same forefathers. Like if you look on this side right here, <laughs> Judah, yeah, the American blacks and all that. This, this side of what God called it, this is what they call it. All these are the twelve sons of Israel. In the, in, yes, the twelve tribes of Israel. And the Native Americans come from them tribes also. The Native Americans, the Mexicans, the Puerto Ricans, the uh, Argentinians, Brazilians, all of us. That all the people who are oppressed around the world, that's the, that's no our people. Ain't no whites in there. No, the white man is the oppressor. Right. The white man is the one who put those twelve tribes under. There. But he didn't do it on his own dime. It ain't like he was uh, the, the strongest man and he just subdued right. us because he bettered us. We the greatest people ever to walk the face of the earth. We all know that. We kings and princes. We the kings and priests of the earth. Go to, uh, go back. Let me show you why. Give me Deuteronomy 28 and 48. Watch this. This is how they were over to over, able to overtake us. Read. Deuteronomy 28 and 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thy enemies. God right here, he calls them what? Our enemies, right? Who is the enemies of the black, Hispanic, and Native American? Why? Because I don't know. We're gonna, okay, we're going to keep reading this verse too. I'm going to prove my point. Then we're going to keep going so you can get a clear picture of who the enemy is. Read. Which the Lord shall send against thee. So how do, why were they able to conquer us? The Lord shall send thee against thee. So God sent them against us, and that's why they were able to conquer us. It's not that they stronger than us or better than us. We better than them at everything, but when God goes against you, you can't beat that. Right. You ain't going to overcome what God says. So God sent this enemy against us. Read. In hunger. In hunger. Whenever we get hungry, who do we got to get our food from? Who, all right, read. And in thirst, whenever you get, when you ever turn on your water bill, when you pay a water bill, who you pay it to. Okay, so now you can understand who the enemy is, because God says your enemy, you gonna go to them in hunger, you gonna go to them in thirst, and in nakedness. When we want clothes, who we go to? <laughs> Read. And in wants of all things. Birth certificate, death certificate, car, insurance, education, religion. Who you gotta go to? So what did God call him now? The enemy, right? Read. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. And this enemy is going to put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. So if you, didn't, if you didn't know who it was up until this point, who was putting yokes of iron on people's necks? The so-called white man, right? But his name is not the white man. That's another thing. I'm going to show you that in a minute. He ain't a white man. We call him white. They trick you to say white because white means pure. But we'll see if they're pure. Read. Until he has destroyed thee. Until he has destroyed thee. We are physically here, but look around our communities. Our brothers running around, pants off their butt. Our sisters running around practically naked. Little shorts, tights, all that type of stuff. That's a destroy. Do you see that in other communities? Do other nations act like that? Do other nations have baby mama, baby daddy rates like we got? High death rates like we got? That's because we are destroyed as a people. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. It's done by the Most High God sent the enemy to help us destroy ourselves. Because we destroy ourselves by not keeping God's commandments. That's our issue. We don't keep God's commandments. So we destroy ourselves. They just help push it along. They just set it up. Oh, they, they're a trap. We just walk right into the trap because God yeah, said we stupid. They, the reason that they smarter, they're not intellect, more intellectual they than us. But the reason they're smarter than us is because they, they follow their law. They got the Constitution, they follow it. God gave us a law, we don't follow it. 
So we, that's why we're done. All we got to do is follow God's commandments, and we'll be at the top of society. Right. But we keep falling for the same, uh, what do they say, banana, banana in a tailpipe. The top, come to, to, to the bottom. Watch it. Give me the Watch 28 1. Watch this. I'm going to show you what God said was going to happen. Read. Deuteronomy 28 and 1. And it shall come to pass if thou shalt hearken diligently. So this time he said, if thou shalt hearken diligently. If you do listen, read. Unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all his commandments. So that's what we got to do. Observe and do all his commandments. Once the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans start doing his commandments, what's going to happen? Which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. Then we're going to be set on high above all nations of the earth. We're the best people on the earth, but we're at the bottom of society. God said if we start keeping these commandments, he'll set us on high above all people on the face of the earth. So wouldn't you love that? What is it? I didn't get your name. Alvin. Alvin. I'm Eliezer. And so, what we're showing you is, in the Bible, God gave us simple instructions. We just got to follow it. I learned that y'all preaching it. Tell the truth. All praises. That's the thing, though. You got to start coming and learning so you can start preaching and telling the truth. Right. Because you can reach the people who we can't reach. I got to let that bottle go. That's all I got. We all, got, we all started somewhere. You, you know what's going to happen? If you keep going around the same people that you hang around who do it, you're going to keep doing it. If you get around brothers who's gonna hold you accountable and say, Alan, nah, you're not gonna smoke. He's been separating, he been separating you and then he let you right in the face of the prophet. Right! So that you can right repent. Here, right here. Right here. Watching, my car, right watching here. your car and God sent the prophet right to you. Here, right here. So now you gotta take you now you gotta take the proper steps. Give me a uh, one uh Psalm 119 is 51. Boy, I see that automatically. Let me show you what the Bible says, Alan. Once you hear this word, once you hear this word and the word hits you, and you start understanding what it said, this is what God said. Read. Psalms 119 and 59. I thought on my ways and turned my feet unto thy testimony. He said, I thought on my ways that I've been drinking and smoking. I need to stop drinking and smoking. You thought on those ways. And he said, he turned to the testimonies of God, which is his Bible. Read. I made haste. No, he took his time and uh, <laughs> let me think about it for a few weeks so I can fall back into it. What did he say? I made haste and delay not to keep thy commandment. That's what you gotta do, Alvin. Now that you're realizing that what I've been doing is wrong, you gotta make haste or go quickly to keep these commandments. We gotta, and that's the only how you gonna clean yourself up. Uh, give me uh, 19 and seven. This is what you gotta realize. The Bible is your book. The Bible is talking to you, Alvin. I can replace Israel and say Alvin and you'll talk right to you because it was written for you by our people for our people. Watch this, read. Psalms 19 and 7. The law of the Lord is perfect. The law of the Lord is perfect. What it does? Converting the soul. Converting the soul. Changing your soul. Changing your heart. Changing your mind. The law is going to change that. If you don't want to smoke and drink no more, you got to start keeping these laws. And that's what's going to take your mind off of that. Read. The testimony of the Lord is sure. Making wise the simple. And that's what's going to make you wise. All the simple ways you've been living, you'll get the law is going to take you away from that. It's going to make you wise to where now you make the right decision. You understand, I don't need to get high. I don't need to get drunk. Why do our people get high and drunk? Depression. Depression, right? To escape the reality, right? But once you realize that you guys chosen, you're not just a nigga. You're not an African-American. You're not black. You're an Israelite. God's favorite people. God wants you on top of the world. Once you realize that, then you got something else to live for. When God give me uh, Ezekiel 3. This is what God gave us the uh, duty to do. This is what you have to do in order to be able to wake up and fix yourself. This is a, Now we got a purpose. Everybody over here in the purple, we used to walk around aimless. Now we got a purpose. This is what God told us our purpose is, 317. Ezekiel 3 and 17. Son of man, Alvin, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Read. Therefore, hear the word of my mouth. First, you got to hear the word of God. Get around, brothers, we're going to bring this Bible out right so you now. can learn the Bible. Right Read. Right and give them warning from me. Then you go out and you warn your people. That's what we out here. That's how you wound up in front of us. Because we listen to this and God said, go warn my people. Go warn Alvin. Hey, keep these commandments. You got to stop doing what you're doing, Alvin. You got to come back and teach your people how to do better. You are an older man in the community. You got to be one of the ones passing the torch to the young. What legacy will you leave the younger ones? Planting seeds. What, but, uh, what seeds are you planting? Uh, my 
not exactly. You got to fix with it. Yeah. Oh, you've been going years and years doing the wrong thing, giving bad examples. Now you got to come back and tell them how God want to live. You got to start keeping these commandments. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.